Hey, look, it's in the window. You can see the window. This is the program. Monday. It's wait, Monday. Wait, wait. Oh, that's why you stuck the mirror there. Oh. It's Monday. Oh, I get it. It's Monday. And guess who I am, everybody? Hello. Hello. I am Dan. Dan. And I like cheese. And I'm 48. And Kenty. Kenty. <laughs> Kenny found. <laughs> sorry. Kenny found me on the interwebs. On the street? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. On the web. Yeah, you didn't find me on the street. Ray? Yeah. Yeah, I always wanted Raymond, not Ray, because Ray was my grandpa's name, and he was kind of a jerk. And not not a total jerk, but just kind of a jerk sometimes. Kind of. Kind of. Grumpy, serious, just grumpy. So you don't like the name, or you don't like me named after well, grandpa? Well, you know... I like Ray as in Ray Gun or Ray Beam or Ray of Sunshine or, or oh, yeah. you know, a Ray. Is that what you uh, think of it now? Yes. Really? I have repurposed the name. So, therefore, I like it. Since I, I signed a new purpose to it, I like it much better. Much better. Well, what's happened the last week, Danny? You see anything crazy in the last week? Well, I uh, did karaoke only. And uh, Robert and I have been really frustrated. I think I've talked about this uh, last week, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. Um, Robert and I have been really frustrated at the lack of participation. And, um, you know, oh, I need to drop off flyers. We've been trying to think of a way to get more people to show up. And, and really, really, all that we want are six or seven people to come and sing. And that gives everybody about two songs. Because there's me and Robert. That's two. And then, say, six other people, that's, uh, that's eight altogether. And if everyone does two songs each, that's 14. No, 16. And that's, we have time for 16 songs to happen on the show with a few minutes in between each one to be able to read emails or talk or, or do announcements or, or stuff like that. So, so. So, so that would be perfect, but we only get one or two people so they showing up. I heard that, or Freddie said that nobody, nobody showed up for like half an hour. Yeah. What did you guys do? For, did you guys just sing over and over oh for the first yeah. half an hour? Oh, yeah. I mean... How many songs did you end up singing in a row? Uh, three each. Well, <laughs> it's three. the Dan, Dan and Robert sing song <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, we would prefer that people showed up and, and sang, you know, just for the sake of, of variety. That would be, you know, optimal. But, but uh, you know, and so what we did is we both wrote down three different songs that we wanted to sing just in case no one showed up. And then one girl showed up and uh, she is uh, dyslexic, so she couldn't read the, the karaoke lyrics. Yeah. Uh, but the songs that she sang, she knew off by heart. She knew, she knew them. Okay. So, so, so you know, and uh, you know, this little nine-year-old girl is just—it it just amazes me that these very, very young kids will come and sing, and they sing well. Yeah, good kids. They sing good. Yeah. Usually. Well, not all. Oh. Uh. <laughs> but some they can hold the key, right? They can hold a note. Yep. And they do it well. And then. And then last night, I had a couple friends. Uh, Maggie used to work at the station. Do you remember her at mm. all? No. Well, anyway, she worked at the station for about two years. She volunteered and stuff for about two years. And she, um, she lives in Seattle now. And she's come down to visit a few times. And they're moving to Japan. Her husband is Japanese. Yeah, Japanese, and uh, they both have jobs waiting for them in Japan in about three months. Oh, so she promised she's going to come to the next karaoke only. She loves to sing, and so they hung out uh, most of the day yesterday, and we sung karaoke. And they are getting rid of stuff that they don't want to take to Japan with them, so they gave me all of their alcohol. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> the liquor, liquor cabinet. That was a lot. <laughs> they gave you a liquor cabinet. Yeah. Well, yeah, like a lot. I couldn't believe it. Like three bottles of wine, um, full, uh, like two things of tequila, a thing of uh, rum, a thing of vodka, a thing of 
uh, um, uh, brandy, uh, a thing of, uh, I'm not sure what it is, but it's cherry flavored. It might be vodka, it might be, I don't know what it is, but it's like 90 proof cherry flavored something. So, so you know, and normally when you get a flavored alcohol, it has less of a percentage that rather than more. So it's unusual. It was a fancy brand. I think it was probably top shelf. It looked pretty interesting. I mean, normally I get the, the I'll get the little tiny bottles, you know, the little ones. Yeah. Because <coughs> I want the flavor in them. It might have some fruit flavor or something. And then you mix that with half and half. I've made drinks for you, and you've yeah, those are pretty good. Things. Yeah, yeah. Well, you want the different flavors, so you add chocolate and vanilla and almond. Yeah. Right, and a little bit of mint in it, and a tiny bit of mint, and it tastes like uh, uh, an almond joy. Booze drinks. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, it's kind of like booze dessert drinks. Yep. Because they're super sweet. All right. And you're not really a drinker, but you still liked it. Yeah, I'll drink a little bit. Yeah. Here, let's call Freddy. Let's find out how the production end is going today. And we could we could call Robert on his home phone. Yeah. Uh, like his his uh. his iPhone. That way we don't have to get through Kim. Cause okay. Because she, she hangs up on us, right? Yeah. <laughs> but we don't want that. That is not okay. On his cell phone, on his home phone. Cell phone, yeah. Yeah, I, okay. I know the number. Whoa. Yes. I know that secret number. Does Kim, Kim doesn't like I the program? Or, huh? Pardon? Kim doesn't like the program? Kim doesn't understand the program. Okay. There's a difference. I mean, she knows about it, but she doesn't understand it. Oh. Hello? Oh. Yo! Oh. Freddy! There's a problem with this Google servers. Google servers. Don't use Google phone. Maybe it's unreliable. We're gonna get it to go. We're gonna try to get it to go still. So. Well, is it not working? Not working. Well, we're getting a dial tone. Now it's working. Something's happening. So it's it's the uh, well, what is it? Twenty eighth for the viewers. Nothing's happening. It's December. We're almost into December. So this episode is airing on the twenty eighth. Yeah. That's past Thanksgiving. Yes, it is. We already had a Thanksgiving episode. Hey, you've reached Freddy oh. I can't come to the phone right now. Well, but phone tag. What's happening with that? Probably we're getting the voicemail from, from Freddy and then the bolt double message time. Does he check his messages? I don't know. He, he was trying to call, just call us. Back later? It'll, it'll, we'll get back to him. Well, let's see. What else? What do we have? What's going to... So, what do you think of my beard? Is one there. to ten. One to ten. Ten. It's definitely a favorable. One unfavorable. It's definitely a beard. This gives me no information whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. One know. to ten. Favorable, unfavorable. It's just a number. Give me a number. Come on. Come on. What's the? Give me a number. <laughs> it's great, Nan. You have a ten. Ten beard. Oh. Plus ten. <laughs> plus ten. Is that like a plus ten <laughs> sword <laughs> in D and D? Look at his beard. What's so? What's with your beard, Nan? You're gonna grow in a beard for uh, is it November Beard Month? Are you gonna? Well, okay, here, here was my secret plan. I'm not sure if I'm going to follow through with this, because yeah. sometimes I just don't follow through with oh. shit. Um, but what I want to do is grow mutton chops. Oh, yeah? Do the full beard, right, until it gets fairly thick. Yeah. And then shave off everything but mostly mutton chops. I might keep some mustache something. And then stand in front of Swampland and say, and, and do this for a commercial for the program. Yeah. I don't know if you'd appreciate this much, so I'm going to just throw this by you. And if this hey, is Daily Hour. Hey. hey. Hey, what's going on? It's us calling you back uh, 12 hours later. No? <laughs> okay, thir th th 13 hours later. You called me at 2 a.m. yesterday. Oh, you, yeah. So it's like 3, 4 a.m. Okay, 14 hours uh, later. I, I never call people that late, Dan. I, I didn't call you. Kenny did. <laughs> I know you didn't, but Kenny on did. the show that was pretty funny. Oh, I on see. the yeah, program, yeah, yeah. yeah it's Sorry, like that hasn't aired yet for me, so I, I forgot about that. Oh, 
Uh, it was pretty funny because I there's only two or three people that call me that late, and I do get people calling me that late because they know I stay up that late. And uh, yeah, well, it, we're just gonna put a list of people together for the late night shows because sometimes we don't have anyone to call for the late night shows. So yeah, we need, well, to have, we need to know those people, like a list of people who are stay up late and don't mind being called. Well, no, I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, maybe some people I'd mind, but you guys just like, yeah, if I'm home, I love to talk to you. So, so, oh, uh, damn. That's sweet of you. yeah, right. Are you, are you on TCTV? Who me? No, I'm at my house. Um, I'm putting TV mountain back together. Whoa. TV mountain. Well, hey, yeah. buddy, how's the production end going? Uh, it's good. I'm falling behind on the YouTube. I, I'm messing that up. I, I, I can give. The only reason I can give for it is that I had a computer desk in my room, but it was uh, kind of on loan from an old roommate of mine, and then they took the desk back, so then I don't have anywhere to put my computer. Whoa. But that's really kind of a lame excuse, but... That's, that's valid, though. <laughs> yeah. For years? But other than that, it's going smoothly. We're getting ready to... We have to uh, get a bunch of episodes captured before... Um, before Thanksgiving break, because there's been a week it, or, or a whole week, like starting Wednesday or t Thursday, I think it's like Thursday to Tuesday, CCTV's going to be closed, so we got to get in all the episodes for the week by then, so... Yeah, we're uh, closed Wednesday, aren't we? No, I think I'm working Wednesday. Huh, okay. Unless that's some sort of, you know... Yeah, not yeah, I'm not sure. Cool. Well... I'm going there later. I'm not sure if we have a class or not. Uh, 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 I'm going to see if Kenny can give Robert a call on his cell phone and find out if there is actually a class. Because we can't get this past... Monday, today? Pardon? Yeah, I'm nothing. Today is Monday. Okay. Yeah, we can't get past Kim. She is the protector. <laughs> the Wednesday. Guard, the All phone right. guard. What? Okay. What do you mean? Doesn't she hang up on the program when we've called? No, I mean, you mean if you call, if you talk to her, you could probably call. Okay. I think she just has a hard time understanding Kenny. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll give it a shot. You sound very excited about this prospect. You just stuck to call work. Yeah. Well, she gives me crap no matter what I do. It doesn't matter what I do. She gives me crap, so might as well do all something. All that matters. Yeah. Yeah. All that matters yeah. is what you do with the crap. <laughs> Well, if someone is going to give you crap no matter what you do, I think that you should at least earn the crap or feel or like you've like earned it. Or like find somewhere to put it or sanitize it. Well, <laughs> well, what you do <laughs> is you take the crap and you form it into cakes. That's disgusting. <laughs> and then you, you, know, have, <laughs> and then you have shit cakes. <laughs> what are you Dick talking cake. about, Dan? Wait, didn't, weren't you trying to popularize that phrase? I don't know. I just find the term really funny. It just makes me laugh. I just, I just like saying it because it's like shit cakes, because it, it has an image to it, and it's really gross and disgusting. And I like the way the word sounds, the shape of the words, the way it comes out your mouth, kind of. I just, the, you know, I don't know. I like the waveform or something. It's got a S and C, and it's got, I, I don't know. You know how some words, you like some words because the way it sounds? So you like the way that shit cake comes out of your mouth? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Why, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Great. Okay, well, thanks, Freddie. Do uh, you have anything else to say today? Anything else? Um... No, no, I guess I don't really have anything else to say. Hey, do uh, you have do you have Thanksgiving plans? No, I don't. Oh. Hey, that what already is happened anyway? Well, you'll come up with something. You come up with something. I say gather people that are sort of your family here and get uh -huh. together with them and eat food. Uh, they're all going home to their real families. Oh, the bastards. Yeah. We're gonna have. We're gonna stay home and watch the program. It already happened. Well, Thanksgiving's over. Bye. Okay. Yes okay bye, and Freddy. Yes and no. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> right, bye. Have a good one, Freddy. Thanksgiving is over.
Wait, that was last. That was last week. It's not over for me, man. That was last week. It's not over till the, the turkey sings. Let's call this guy from yesterday. He wanted to be on the show. His name is Tom. He left us a message yesterday, but it was too late to call him back. Also, oh, what is that? <laughs> Who said that? Wait, that's a new one. Yeah, I want to hear that one again. What the? When did I, did, the I don't remember that message at all. What the devil? Well, it's so quick. You're a bitch. Who's that? Let's call them back first. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know that you'll call them back. Oh, they, they, they <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be surprised. Hey, this is Cameron. Sorry, I can't make it to the phone right now. Uh, Let's see, Cameron. Record your message after the tone. To send You're a bitch. Is that the same person from before? I don't know. Remember, like a long time ago, that the person got stuck at Walmart. Hey, Cameron. It's a program. Yeah, we uh, we got your one-word message. <laughs> it was three words. Okay, thanks, thanks Cameron. It was three words. Okay, bye, bye. Remember that one person? They got stuck at a Walmart, and then they called us, yeah. and they were like, we're, I'm stuck at Walmart. <laughs> I don't know if that was that same person. Three-word message. You're a bitch. Who was she referring to? Not me. You. It was Dan. Oh, he was no. referring to Dan. <laughs> no. She's calling Dan a no. bitch. <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe she did. Because she left the message knowing that it would be, uh, you know, heard on a Monday. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Or sh yeah, if they and if since, they since I take things personally, then it must be meant for me. Yeah. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bitch. <laughs> I'm a bitch. I'm a lover. I'm a something. Hello. Hello, Tom? Yes, hello. Hi, this it's the program. This is hello, the, the program. program. How are you doing? I'm excellent. How are you? Oh, you're just fine. Hey, uh, so you want to be on the program in the next five days, right? Yeah, I want to be on the program. Can yeah, you, yeah, but we need how to How about know tomorrow? What? How about on tomorrow? Okay, tomorrow. That's great. Yeah, but we need to know your blood type and shoe size. What? <laughs> we need... <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to think of t skill testing questions. Dan wants to know your blood type and shoe size. Shoe size, yeah. My shoe size? Yes. Blood type. My shoe... Wait, what type? <laughs> your blood blood type. Blood type and shoe size. Oh, blood type? I'm not sure what my blood type is. But oh, like no. Uh, you should find out, because if you get in an accident... Yeah. Well, they, then you is it really important to know what blood type you have? Because then you can tell people... Because if, if you need to get a transfusion... Yeah. Oh, right, true, true. Well, That's it's like, point. okay, we know what our birthday is, and we know what our shoe size is generally, and we know, uh, you know, our, our own eye color and stuff like that. But, you know, we don't know what our own blood type is. True. Right? Hey, so do you want to c come here tomorrow at, like, 2 o'clock? Okay, 2 o'clock tomorrow, up above Maconies, right? Um, it's, it's not above Maconies. It's across the street from Maconies. Across the street? Which way? Well... Okay, you, you know where the uh, Children Hands-On Museum was? Is, was? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, yes. in the corner? Okay, we're up in the back. Like the parking yeah. lot. There's a parking lot in back that you can park for free, essentially. It's visitor parking for the whole legislative, everybody, uh, the whole complex. And not a lot of people know about this, but you can park no, there yeah, for free. No, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> well, okay. I never pay. I never pay, and there's a there's a little green awning, and there's only one, and it leads to the back, and and we're right there. There's a little window the right green next to awning it. Awning is what I'm going to look for. Okay. So it's it's, it's it's on the block of Children's Museum. You go past the Children's Museum, you go up a ramp, and then there's a parking lot, and then there's a green awning in the parking lot. Yeah. Hey, you've seen you've seen the program, right? You've seen it on TV, right? Oh, of course. I've okay. seen the program. Big At fan, the very long time watcher. Long time okay. watcher. Oh, so yeah. at the very beginning of the show, there's that brief oh, little it's break. high speed no, that's, little thing that's that happens. Not that, that doesn't happen oh, anymore. Right, 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 right. You didn't I know that didn't happen saying. anymore. I catch the show in the middle usually. But did you see on the on the on the. Okay. You watch it here though every week. Well, yeah, but I usually don't turn it on right when it starts. Right at the. Top. Yeah. What is this? No, the the intro. Okay. The intro. 
listen, my phone is about to die, so I have to go, but I'm going to plan on being there tomorrow at 2. Uh, under the green awning, okay? And call the number. If I'll be here. Call the number if you're uh, lost. Yeah. Okay, I'll call the number. I will. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow on the program. Okay. Okay. Have, have a good one, man. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. It's the program. Here goes. He seems excited about the program. You gone now? Yeah, okay. His phone is about to die. I wonder if he has Long a good Long time watcher of the show. Program. I don't think we've ever had a fan. I mean, are you guys call the show. People will call the John, show. It's going to actually happen. John Webster. You oh, know, yeah. If you have the urge to call John Webster and find out how did he get my home phone number, you could do that. that All right, let's okay. call him. But I want to talk to... Well... No, that's fine. I don't need to talk to Robert. I'll just go there and clock in. And if I don't have a class, then I'll just uh, hang out for a while. I need to get a camera anyway, so, okay. So we don't need to call Robert. All right. I'm just talking out loud, man. I'm just, we were, just so we're not going to call him. We were going to call him before. Self-negotiating. Okay. So uh, what are we going to do then? We have... Let's call John Webster. Oh, yeah, call John Webster, huh? And find out how did he get my secret public phone number. Yeah, he didn't see it on the internet, but we'll find out. Maybe it's in the phone book. Oh, probably. One of them. Yeah, I looked up myself on, on these phone things, and, and uh, every uh, every single one that I found, the information was not either incomplete or incorrect. Right? They'd have the name right, but the address would be off. They would have the address correct, but the name would be wrong. Uh, they would have the, the name and the age right, like there, but Hello? they wouldn't have... Hello there! Hey, John! John Webster! Yes! This is the program! Hi there, Dad. How are you doing, Dan? Dan, yeah. Hey, I was just curious. You uh, you called my, my home and left me a, a long message. I was wondering how you found the phone number. Uh, I found it in, in the phone book. Ha! Huh? It is in the fun book, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're you might be the first person that's done that. Uh, I see that uh, Robert Cam's uh, phone number is in the phone book too. Is it really? Have you called him? Uh, yep, yeah, but uh, it, it uh, he, nobody answered on his phone. On his phone. Hey, what did what? What did you think of my fake French outgoing message? It's it's wonderful. I heard it I heard it last night. Uh, uh, I heard it last night. Uh, the on the show. Uh, yes, on uh, the thirteenth uh, when uh, Sean when uh, Sean was uh, on <laughs> last night. Yeah. I heard, <laughs> I heard your deal. <laughs> nice. So here the message on there, and then they call you, and it's real, and they're nice. like, "Oh, I saw that on TV." Nice. Yeah, I, yes. Nice. So, John, how you how you dealing with the weather? You stay home when the weather is bad like this? Oh yeah. Hey, John, what are you watching on TV right now? Uh, the news. What's happening with the news? Uh, they're still talking about the sky. The, the one that's uh, still, miss, still missing. Oh, the kid, right? I, I don't know. I um, think that those kids, they, they're missing for like a day, then they might be dead. It's yeah. been two weeks now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, they found his shoe, right? They found his one shoe. I remember that. They found a shoe? Yeah. I never heard that. Where'd uh, they find a shoe? Remember the shoe? <laughs> uh -huh. What was with that shoe, John? Do you, do you know if that shoe was real or... Yeah, where'd they find it? I don't know. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> That's very interesting. This is very, this is very interesting. This, I like uh, your beard there. I like your beard. Really? Yep. I I have mixed emotions about it. So I've been asking everyone uh, what they think, like on a one to ten. One, ten is highly favorable. One is unfavorable. And uh, <laughs> highly. I, pardon. Oh, thank you. Ten, highly. Highly. Oh, that's like nice. It. Thank you. Thank uh, you. I, it just—it's kind of itchy, and there's a lot of gray in it, so I don't. Oh, I know. Just like uh, when I when I don't shave, it uh, it 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 bothers me too. Yeah, yeah, and there's a lot of gray in it, and I had a beard. 
I had a beard like uh, 20 years ago. And uh, yeah, yeah, like 20 years ago. And uh, I had the beard for a decade and there was no gray in it at all. There was no white or gray or nothing. And now uh, the, the beard comes back and there's all kinds of gray in it. And I don't, I don't, it's, it's very different than the way it was when I had one last time. And I don't, I don't care for it. I don't, I don't like the gray. But I, re- I refuse to put the, the dye. The <laughs> beard dye? Yes, it's lame. Lame. It's fake. I won't do the fake. I won't put a hair piece hey, on because it's John, fake. you want to come? You should come see the studio sometime. Yeah, they changed it oh, all around. I don't, I don't get enough gas money to get, to get there. I, I need uh, someone to swing by and pick me up. Oh, yeah? Maybe I'll do that. And I can pick you up and drop you off, huh? You have a car now. Yes, yes. How much gas That'd money? That would be good. You could ride the bus. Pardon? You could ride the bus. Uh, I don't get enough. I don't get enough money to, uh, for that either. Two dollars for the bus. I get. I'll get you two dollars. Uh, no, I would like someone to swing by and pick me up. <laughs> you want a ride? Maybe I'll give you a ride. One of these days. Okay. We'll... What part of town do you live or live on? He lives in Lacey. Lacey? Okay. He lives, uh, you live out by where off, I work. Just off Martin Way where everybody's going on Kenwood because uh, the... Uh, Carpenter. Uh, they're doing construction work on uh, Carpenter Road. Yeah. Hmm. That's why I work right by John, so maybe, I can, maybe if I'm doing the show after work, but then i got to drive you back, too. Okay. Hey, John. What do you think about this uh, Occupy Wall Street protest thing that is happening in in New York and uh, colleges, and it's happening all in all over cities? There's a lot of uh, people that are un- unemployed. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about it? Um, I don't. I don't do any protests, but uh, I. It's kind of sad with people out of work and everything. Yeah. Well, are you supportive of the the protests? Yes. Yes. How come? Uh huh. How how come? Why? Why are you supportive? Mm. Yeah, you're in the you're in the one percent, or the not the one percent, the money stuff, right, John? It's hard to get a job. Uh huh. Yeah, well, some people, pr- they support it for one reason. Some people will support it for other so reasons. So. Oh, I support it. I support it. I support them. Yeah. 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 John's a supportive guy. Well, me too. Me too. I, I very much support them. And uh, I think they should just keep protesting. And I think, I wish more people would protest. I wish it were much bigger and much louder and much more protesty. Yeah. <laughs> even though I don't even go. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Does that make me a hypocrite? If I support them, but I don't I'm not, a, I'm not a hypocrite. <laughs> well, no, I don't, I don't go to the protests either, but I'm very supportive, and I wish it were bigger, louder, you know, just more, more, th- there were more people participating. Except for me. I don't want to go. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, which I think is funny. So, I find that amusing. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks. Thanks, John. I'm still looking for a girlfriend. Oh, yeah, everybody. John <laughs> loves are looking for a girlfriend. Yeah. He's got his own place, and he has a car. Yeah. He's supportive. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. John, we're looking for... We're looking. I'm, I am, I'm actively looking every time I... Uh, on, look on the inter- look on the internet on your internet uh, you know uh, single uh, for a sing- you know single gal hey listen listen John let me ask you a few questions so the viewers can can get a sense so so do you have uh, preferences in a girlfriend of uh, being blonde or brown hair or red hat or anything no is that a find over that, that don't do that that's not gonna help uh, I, don't, <laughs> I, uh, I don't have any preferences yeah John, John I like, I like, no uh, preferences? Any, I like redheads and blondes and brunettes and mm-hmm. everything else yeah I like them all too we'll look <laughs> <laughs> we'll look them up. we'll find you maybe we'll put you on the internet uh, John you want us to make you like an internet dating account or something yep oh okay we we'll have to get some pictures. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, uh, there's Zeus. Yeah, there's OkCupid. Okay 
Yeah, there's a bunch of internet dating sites that are free. Yeah, we'll try to send. Let's try to find John. So, John, you want to? F- we find somebody who's like a. You could create an account on the computer. Yeah, I even told my, I even told my sister I, I want her to find me a girl, uh, girlfriend. Yeah, she just turned. Uh, they, my brother, my brother and my sister uh, just had their uh, 29th uh, anniversary yesterday. Find woman your age, right, John? How old are you? You're. I'm 66. So we can we go to like I don't know like I guess I don't know, 66 is too young for like retirement centers or something. But we'll find you some no, a, a no. 66 year old lady. <coughs> yeah. Or, or a little bit or about 65 or something like that. 65, maybe okay. a little younger. 65 though. Uh, not uh, uh, not. Oh. What yeah. six? Uh, 65, 64, or 66. Well, okay. Well, look, I think we can find somebody. I think there's a, there might be a lot of available 66 year olds that want to go for Well, us. hey, you know, for John. you know, you always want the younger, the, Not John. the younger. Thanks, person. thanks, John. Okay, we'll we'll talk to you later. Alrighty, I'll be watching. I'll be watching the, uh, the November the November 14th show tonight. Yeah, with well, yeah, Dan from last week. You know what? You know what, John? You know what I've learned about women? The yeah. older they get, the more they appreciate a nice guy. And you're a pretty nice guy, so uh, I'm surprised you don't have a girlfriend already. Because I was, even when I was at your, I was at your karaoke. Pardon? Even when I came to the karaoke. Uh, John went to karaoke only, huh? Yeah. yeah, did yeah. You, did yeah. you sing? No, I, I, I was going to sing anyway. I was going to sing the Chubby Jacker uh, song, The Twist. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you, got that, you got that in the book. How yeah, you yeah. Sing? yeah, why didn't you sing? I don't remember why you didn't sing. Well, I was going, I was going to, but uh, I, I didn't know where the book was. Oh, did we run out of time or something? I keep thinking you showed up a little late or something. Oh no! I was there. I was there. Were you? Okay. Yeah, help him out next time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just ask for a little help. We'll help you. Someone will okay. help you. Hey, Ed. Ed. I don't know if it was you or Robert. Uh, you said the wrong date uh, uh, last fr- last Friday. Yeah. You did. You did. Well, all uh, I said. All I said was that I'm single and available, or something like that. The date last last Friday. You, you, d- you said the wrong date. Uh, oh, oh, last, uh, oh, Friday. oh. The wrong date, not going on a date. <laughs> yeah, I know I screwed yep. up. I was a day off. <laughs> you know, yeah, I was days. thinking the 17th. Friday, Friday was the 18th. Yeah. And then everybody's going to call you. You're like, we're live on the 17th. And then everybody's like, oh, I yesterday talked, they're like. I talked to Freddy, uh, and he was going to pass it on to you guys. But uh, yeah, that little, that little girl was singing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she was pretty brave. It's kind of it kind of surprises me that we would have these young kids come and sing, and they sing well, and and on TV and everything. And uh, yeah, yeah. And meanwhile, her mom, right? Her mom is sitting in the audience, and she is like uh, texting all of her friends. My daughter's on TV. My daughter's on TV. <laughs> it was great. It was great. You know, and and. Uh, you know that wasn't the only thing she was texting, but uh, she was pretty, pretty excited. And what was weird is that she, her mom found out about us. Uh, there's a brochure. There's some, there's some area agency of some kind that lists all the free stuff in Olympia, and karaoke only is in there. Something oh, you can really? do for free. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, hey, I, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I like your old, I like your old shows. Are you, are you watching at 2 a.m.? I, I like your old shows, uh, the ones that are on at 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah. What's been happening in there? I don't remember last year, huh? Uh, see, last night, it, uh, you had uh, Sean, and he looked kind of different. Oh, yeah. That was from a whole year ago. Yeah, he changes his look frequently. <laughs> yeah, he looked kind of different. And you were showing all the uh, all the stuff that you got uh, last time. Uh, that you had it, uh, you didn't have all that, uh, all that g- gear and everything. Oh yeah, we got more gears, but now we have a lot of gear. But, but back then we didn't have as much. That's uh, pretty hey, good. You didn't have it uh, at your old house. 
Yeah, John. I'm what still, um, and I'm still looking for it to see when I come when I'm there too, yeah. or was that, or was that in uh, 2011 when I was, when I came there? I don't remember. When was the first time you showed up to the show? I don't think it was 2011, was it, or was it in January of this year? Uh, I think I think so. Uh, I'm still. I'm, if you still have the old, if you have the old programs on, I'm still I'll be, I'll still be watching it. Yeah, I don't remember what day you were on, John. We can figure it out though. We're gonna have to look it up. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, John. I guess we'll talk to you later. All right. I'll be watching. I'll be watching tonight's uh, show with uh, with uh, with Dan on it. Yeah. Great. Okay. See you. Dan. Uh, thanks. Fourteen. Thanks. Thanks, John. Call, keep calling us. Okay. Bye bye. It's good talking to you, John. Bye. Bye bye. All right. Bye -bye. Thanks, John. Yeah. Oh, uh, now we have about what, 20 minutes left on the show? Yeah. Yeah. We should talk about something really important. Yeah? What's uh, really important? Uh, I don't know. There's all kinds of important stuff. Oh, 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 oh. I know. Something exciting's about to happen. What's that? Very exciting. They're launching a, um, a very, very special kind of probe to Mars. A probe? Well, the Russians launched one, and the name, <laughs> the Russian name as translated into English is Grunt. Grunt, huh? Yeah, it's, like it's called the, yeah, Grunt. Like little, G or like, do you think it's That's like a, like a, like a small person, or like a, er, er, No, I think that it's like G-R-U-N-T is a, an, an acronym for, or an acronym for whatever, d d d ground reconnaissance, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> But it, it's the Phobos mission, essentially. Phobos. Yeah, but it's screwed up. The Russians, you know... <laughs> Phobos so is they, screwed up. Oh, they make great rockets. You know... Don't believe in they Phobos. They make reliable rockets all the time. They, it's just their rockets never fail. It's very rare that their rockets fail. Very rare. They're very reliable. Have been for 20 years. But their probes sitting on top of the rockets fail three quarters of the time. 75% of their stuff, their probes fail, right? They're really gra great with hoses and uh, uh, pipe and conduit, and they're extremely good with hardware. Their hardware rarely fails, but their software and the finer instruments and the, the you know, the, the electronic stuff and the, the finer detailed stuff doesn't work so well over there. It's just kind of weird. And it's the opposite in the U.S. The American stuff, the hardware fails a lot, but the software keeps on ticking. Why can't we get along? I don't know. So what we've been doing is relying on the Russian hardware with the American software. We've been doing that for 20 years. Yeah, well that's, so we have been getting along. That's what I... <laughs> hmm. So it works out. Uh, we're having some black and white thinking here. Yeah. Thinking in very black and white terms. So anyway, so their plan was to launch a probe that would land on one of the moons of Mars, Phobos. Phobos. Phobos, uh, Mars has two moons. One is Phobos and one is Deimos. De Deimos? Deimos. And uh, Phobos is the bigger of the two, and it orbits a little bit closer. But it was a really complicated maneuver they were doing. It's like this rocket would get up into Earth's orbit and do some some orbital changes and then head out to Mars and then it had this complicated deorbital plan to where it uh, got right next to the, the the Martian moon and then it would slowly land on the moon and then it would attach it would shoot like uh, pitons into the into the dirt into the rock so that it would it would stay stuck there and then it had a little digger scooper Pitons. Pitons. You know, the things that you drive into the rock when you cr climb a mountain. Aren't those pitons? I, I've never heard of the <laughs> piton. No, I've never heard of like half the words you're saying. So you're <laughs> okay, well, I'm pretty sure they're called pitons. I could be wrong. I could easily be wrong. I, anyway, I'm calling them pitons unless I am corrected uh, elsewhere otherwise. So, so anyway, oh. so... Oh. Where's a break? Oh. Wait, we gotta <laughs> you mean I have to stop talking? God damn it. Right. <laughs> Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our code. We act like it's not true. 
but it is. You, you start to realize you have hung and hung to function. YDHWM. YDHWM every night, 11 30 p.m. Let's see the letters and the title of the show. Makes your life better. Makes your life better. YDHWM. YDHWM. YDHWM 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 every night, 11 30 p.m. Your Lord Daily Hour So the cur- first commercial is by Tony in the Jet. Tony C and the Jets, yeah. Tony! Tony! Tony C! Tony and the Jets! So what's a, what's a piton? Piton, okay, piton, piton. piton. It's, a little, it's a little thing you drive into the rock so that you can hook your string to it, your cable to it. Crouton. And if you slip and fall, the, the little piton holds you and keeps you from falling 2,000 feet and dying. Uh, carabiner. Pardon? Not a carabiner? Uh, uh, a carabiner? What's you know that? <laughs> you don't know what that is? is? That a person that I is thought that's a little hook. Carabiner? It's the hook. That you... Okay. Is uh, that what you're saying? A P- it's a piton? I, I guess. Is it a Canadian thing? I don't know. Who says pitons? Car- ca- like they, they have on key rings. People with keys, you know? Okay. They have the carabiners on their keys, right? Carabiner. You well, call this them is, pitons? This is the spike I'm oh, talking about. Oh, the spike. About. Okay, yeah. not the keychain. You don't know the keychain thing. Yeah, those I know about. I, uh-huh. I, I didn't know what the name was. So it's called a carabiner. 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 Like from the Caribbean. Carabiner. Yeah, carabiner. 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 Yeah. Okay. But anyway, so. So the thing that lands on the moon, and because the moon is so small, it has hardly any gravity. And so they've got a hook. They've got a. They've got to uh, be latched there because it's got this little this little scoop, and the scoop picks up some stuff, and then it transfers it over, and it drops it into this little top chamber, and it scoops up some more, and puts that in the chamber, and then closes up the chamber, and the top part of the chamber shoots off and goes towards Earth, and it falls like a meteor to Earth. There's yep. no parachute. It just hits the ground. Blam! <laughs> Just like that. No parachute. No, not even the water or anything? Nope. Nope. The Russians land all of their spaceships. They they land them in the Siberian desert or something like that. Or they, they land them in Russia on land. All of their stuff. And they have, they have uh, airbags and stuff, but it's all retro rockets and stuff. Yeah. As opposed to the American method, which is to have parachutes and splash down. In the water. Yeah, why do they want to... <coughs> the, the Russian method is fuel intensive and more dangerous because if they run out of fuel or if one of the rockets fails or something like that, you're screwed. Yeah. Whereas the, uh, the American method, you've got three parachutes. If one fails, you'll still land. It'll be a harder landing, but there's no rockets involved. They're flinging. And so, yeah, yeah, because if you're using retro rockets to land... Then, uh, then uh, uh, you got to carry that fuel with you. When you're going up into space and doing your thing, you still have to have a bunch of fuel for when you land. So, so it's more fuel intensive. So, so, so there is that. So, so what happened is something went wrong with the, the, with the little grunt mission. Yeah. And they're thinking it's not going to make it to Mars. So they're, they're thinking they're, they might want to have it land on the moon. And dig up samples on the moon, just like on the, arm, like on on the south arm pole. Moon. Yeah, on the south pole of the moon. They never got over there. Mm-mm, no, they crash landed a, a an empty container to to crash on it, and then it would kick up all kinds of dust, and then they could uh, do a spectral analysis of the dust to see if there was water in the dust. So they're shooting at it. They're yeah. With the yeah, they're like, oh, they're trying to blow up the moon. Is that what people thought? Yes, dumbasses. This calls me Donalds in New York. So, but the, the Americans are sending a very special probe next week to Mars. This one is very different. What's it? And I've talked about it before, I think. What's it going to do? But I'm going to talk about it again. Oh. After we talk to McDonald's. What's it going to do? Oh, it's a robot. 
if it's a rover, it's going to roll around for years and years and years. And it's big. Car, car size? Yes. Ten feet long. It weighs a ton, literally. Maybe half a ton. It's a thousand pounds. So sorry, half a pound, uh, half a ton. It weighs half a ton. One thousand pounds. I don't think any McDonald's is home. Mayor McCheese is not there. The Hamburglar's stolen away. What was the purple guy's name? The character? The Grimace. Guy? Grimace. Yeah, Grimace is napping. Grimace is missing. Oh. Who, who else is there? There's Ronald McDonald, the Hamburglar, Mayor McCheese. Yeah, that's stuff that they, they st I think they McDonald's discontinued that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Long ago. Were there any other characters? Oh, weren't there the uh, Birdie Fry Kids? Yeah, the little French fries. What? What? What were they called? They were Fry Kids. Were they fry kids? Yes. That was what they were called? Yes. Fry kids, Birdie, Grimace, Ronald. Birdie. Oh, yeah. Birdie. And Booger. What, what did Birdie do? What was... She was... She, I, guess, I don't know. It's kind of messed up. I think she was the Chicken Nuggets representative. <laughs> She's a bird. I would like some of Birdie's Nuggets, please. Yeah. Ew. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have those pumpkin pies? Uh oh. Did she hang up? Yeah, maybe they've asked. Uh, they've heard. Maybe I called them before and asked them the same thing. <laughs> it's possible. I don't know. There's thousands of McDonald's in this country. How can you call the same one? Sometimes they like to just hang up, though. Here, let's call Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York. They like to hang up sometimes. People don't want to answer simple questions, but sometimes I called them twice. Hmm. Have you purposely called the same one twice? Mm, pr probably a couple times. Probably just uh, Purposely? Like I called them before they treated me well, so I'll call them back? Hmm. Uh, not, not that, not in that one thinking. But I'm sure I've called. Um, well, even at the same McDonald's, you're going to get a different person answering the phone mm -hmm. because you know th there's constantly staff changeover and. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think there's yeah there's not too many people stay there. High turnover rate, and there's a lot of people working there. A lot of different people also answering the yeah, phones. Yeah, yeah, different shifts. You call your the daily hour. Like this show is happening at a different time each day. Who's gonna like be close to uh, the phones at different times too? I don't know if this, if they have a phone person, but I'm pretty sure different people pick up the phone over this close to the phone. Let's grab the well, phone. I wonder. I wonder if it's someone walking around with a headset, and it's like they're busy doing something, and they just have to press the little thing and answer the the headset phone. Because I'll watch them. There's someone with a headset that is delivering food. There's someone with a headset that is taking orders. And, uh... No, I'm headset. Person. Yeah, well, not all of them wear headsets. I'm, I think the manager does, and that might be the person that answers the phone. Hard to say. Hello? I've never... Hello? Uh, okay, yeah? I've never heard a phone ringing at McDonald's at the front counter. And I've gone to McDonald's plenty. I've never heard a phone ring. Yeah. I've heard it ring at Subway. <laughs> I like Subway because it's fresh. It's fresh. McConey is, is better. It's even fresher, isn't it? Yeah, don't go to Subway. It's so fresh that you slap the sandwich. Fresh. I'm going to McDonald's. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have those pumpkin pies? Uh, no, we have holiday pies now. Uh, I wanted to get one of those pumpkin pies for Thanksgiving. No, we don't have any more. What's a holiday pie? Uh, it's, cus uh, it's a custard filling, and it has like a cookie crust. Custard? Yeah. Like cr creamy? Yeah. That's not, any, it's not even a fruit. That's weird. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Creamy custard pies. I am getting one of those on my way to work. Yeah. I am totally... Wait. I don't know if they're serving. Call the Westside McDonald's. 
Ask him. I don't want. Yeah. I don't want. I, mean, I don't like to call the local ones. I'll talk. I'll you do the talk. You just gotta go there and ch- and check it out. No, oh, but it's like work. If they don't it's have, like I have to. I have to drive. If they don't have it, just get something else. What? That's what they. That's what they want you to do. What? We can't call the local one. They're gonna. They're gonna know. What? And then they're gonna hear you. No. Well, they won't recognize my voice. They will. They will. They recognize like the sound of the phone of the, the microphone and that stuff. Is that? They're gonna recognize you. Why well, don't go there? That you'll find. You'll find <laughs> you'll, you'll, but if you go there, if you ask them about the pies right now, and then you go there and get a pie, they'll be like, did you call and ask about these pies? I will, just go yes. I will say yes. I will say yes. We can't call the local ones. They're gonna get. They're gonna find me. Oh, you. Oh, you think they would? Like, I think they're gonna like, find me. Do you think they they would? Cross and yeah, and, and act on that cross. Yeah, they would be unhappy about me calling McDonald's. They'd be like, they're gonna find out. Oh, okay, okay. They're Fair the enough. local ones. Well, I don't want you to you get look in out. trouble. You gotta look out for them. It's the compassionate thing. I don't. I go there. To get, I eat there, so they're gonna. And I don't want to do that. You know, yeah, so. but they they deal with a million customers. Yeah, maybe. Hey, get you're a mirror. <laughs> you're on tape. So yeah, yep. on you. Getting down to got about three minutes left. Three minutes left. Probably, yeah. Well, this hour went pretty quickly. So, anyway, so this probe is going to wheel around on Mars. It's going to land. It's got an aeroshell, and it's got retro rockets, and it's got this little tether that drops it down onto the surface, and then the then the retro rocket aeroshell flies away and crashes somewhere, and then this thing will be driving around for years and years and years, and it's not solar-powered. It's got a little tiny nuclear reactor, a little micro nuclear rea- reactor. It's called an RTG. They take uh, spent nuclear fuel, yeah. and it's still really, really hot. And they have this closed little water system that uh, uh, charges up. It, it produces electricity for a decade. Whoa! Like the Voyager probes. Have you heard about those? No. They sent those out to to uh, Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus and Neptune. They sent those out in the 70s. We're talking 40 years ago they sent these suckers out. And they had RTGs to give them power, and they still have power. 40 years later, they still have power to operate with. Whoa. That's what these things. So this little Mar- Mars probe is going to be driving around, and it has uh, a laboratory, an analysis laboratory on it. It's got little claws that digs up stuff from the soil. It's got a, uh, a, a laser beam on it. Whoa. Yeah, it's Whoa. Got a laser. And the laser will go and it'll go and it cuts a little tiny hole in the rock and then it puts one of its little probe scanner mechanisms up to it and then it uh, takes a look at the, oh. the rock. <laughs> <laughs> that would have got me. <laughs> and it would have been on tape. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, so it shoots this little laser, and it's got this little scoop on it, and it dumps the little dirt into a little analyzer, and it has a mass spectrometer, and it analyzes the dirt in it, and it's very cool. It's very cool, and it's going to be driving all over the place for years and years and years. It doesn't rely on solar power, so it'll be going winter, summer, spring, and fall. I think I, I think last time you you told me about this, I, I said that the oh probably that the aliens, but the aliens are going to be mad because they think they're gonna, we're going to be attacking them. That's right. With nuclear radiation, they're going to be like, what is this? What is this poison? And and then, people are sending to and us. And then it will shoot it with its laser beam. Yeah, and then it's going to explode because it's all nuclear and stuff, and then. They're gonna we're gonna cause intergalactic war. Well, America is ready. We got our war machine that's yeah. all ready to go. So don't send stuff to don't send nuclear things to out space. That's I guess that's dang, I think it's dangerous. It's dangerous in uh, being launched. That's the danger. But they build these RTGs are uh, canisters that are about the size of. Uh, uh, they're they're about the size from your ankle to your knee, and about that thick. They're a little round shell, and the shell is made out of like reinforced titanium, Kevlar, um, super strong steel, whatever. They're they're super super duper self-contained. Yeah, like they're really tough, and they make them to be tough. 
They want them to fall from space and hit the ground and not break. That's how tough these things are. They can take like 2,000 Gs or something like that. It's insane. They make these really tough. Um, there has been a long-term scientific debate over the use of RTGs and, and the danger and the, the same argument, the same concerns. And uh, The aliens, they're going to th think that they're being poisoned? Probably not. That's they, not don't, their concern. they don't give off radiation. Okay. They're, they're self-contained with lead and steel and uh, um, uh, uh, titanium, <laughs> just layer upon layer upon layer. And the whole idea is they are meant to last for a thousand years and be self-contained for a thousand years. Unless you drop them into a vat of acid on purpose, like hydrochloric and sulfuric acid and possibly carbonic acid, nitric acid possibly too. It might take all of them. <clears throat> but they're tough little buggers, and they've been using the same the same design, the same mechanism for years and years and years. So, so uh, yeah. Well, great. Hey, uh, yeah. where's the thing? I thought it was gonna be yeah. one minute to go, but maybe we still have like three minutes. Yeah. The timer is off or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway, so it's very exciting, uh, but a lot can go wrong. And about a third of all the probes that uh, the U.S. sends to Mars, about a third of them fail. So 75 or 85 percent of the ones that Russia sends fail. Uh, 25 percent of the ones that we send fail. Um, uh, I don't think China or France, uh, Britain sent one. They've maybe sent two. And... Uh, Ooh, see, look, you can see the back of my head. Look, no hair. <laughs> you can see the mon yeah, oh, it's Boy, that's appealing. <laughs> that's exciting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, everybody, everybody can see the back of your head all the time, Dan. You, maybe you got to wear a, a hat if you're worried about people seeing your head because you don't think about it, maybe. No, I don't because I don't see it. But now that there. I see it, oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now I have to look at my shiny head. <laughs> Well, yeah, I don't, I don't think about it normally. I don't. There's uh, the monitor. You ever try to shine it? Shine my head. Yeah, that's what be, all people do. That really, they try and get make some it grease. Shine? Get some grease and shine on it. Like put I, don't, in the I don't think they do that on purpose. I think it's shiny all by itself. Put your head in a um, uh, in a bone a ball cleaner. <laughs> you get some wax. You wax it. That's what. It, you wax? Try to wax your head, but not well, with not like not with like a strips, but okay, with like okay. wax, like rub it on there. Okay, look at your forearm. What would you have to do to your forearm to make it shiny? Yeah, but your your head is tighter. Skin your head is tighter. You can wax it. <laughs> have you ever known anyone that is <laughs> waxed? <laughs> I think people wax their head. I'm, I'm sure, I think my dad waxes his head. What? Is you he, gotta wax does your he head. Shave his head? No, he's uh, head? he's bald. Listen, I don't do anything to my head and it's shiny. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's not waxed? Bald. No! Oh, it's just shiny by itself. I, maybe I was yeah. just thinking of all these people I've waxed. No, no. Now, I have a fairly oily complexion. <laughs> yeah, make your I do. I do. I just shiny? I have an oily complexion. I See, uh, is it, look at my forehead, right? I got to shine there. I wash my face every morning. And it's still shiny. Yes! Well, thanks, everybody. It's not my fault. I didn't make it so. You can see the future in your Not forehead. Not the wand. In the shi <laughs> you can get tell the future of the shining. You yes. Look at your head. It's like the the shining, like the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. That's my forehead talking to me. Yeah, <laughs> sure, you're home, shining at me. <clears throat> Thanks, everybody. Yeah. So yeah, my skin is naturally, you know, kind of oily, and so it's shiny anyway. So as I lose more hair. I shine even more. Thanks, viewers. Thank you, viewers, for watching this show. Thanks, TCTV. Thank you, TCTV, for providing the channel. Thanks, LeBebe. Thank you, LeBebe. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And be a sponsor, man. We'll be grateful and crap. Yeah, speak for yourself, Dan.